Cool. So we're going to do a analysis. This is a completely off the cuff analysis. Yeah, I just thought I'd do this before I went to bed. Of the latest SpaceX um, rocket, which comes into land and goes in for a rather heavy landing. Um, yeah, orange flame characteristic of hydrocarbons burning. Um, and so forth. So, yeah, what's actually going on here? Well, this thing was meant to do a sort of, yeah, flies up to altitude, does a bit of a belly flop, and then comes into land. And there's only one real technical challenge here, and it's to do with the fuel sloshing around. It's basically water in a cup, right? Rockets, when they take off, um, in fact, I've, I've got this other guy called uh, DCX, did a lot of the same things that this thing's trying to do. Um, you know, when a rocket takes off, um, like this, uh, it's very easy. You know, the liquid is essentially in a tank and it all sinks down to the bottom of the tank. And so all you do is pump the fuel from those tanks into the engines and you're all done. Now, um, this was a big problem with the, the early rockets like the Saturn V was fuel slosh. Is if the fuel gets rocking backwards and fuel forwards in the tank, that can cause real problems for the rocket. And likewise, uh, yeah, a mode where the fuel bounces up and down causes something called pogoing. And if you get the right resonant frequency of these things, they destroy the rockets. So, uh, yeah, fuel moving around in a tank is a big problem. In fact, yeah, you get a rocket like this. All rockets like this really are, uh, yeah, 90% of them is fuel tanks. Um and then you've got some engines on the bottom and a payload at the top. You know, typically it's a 10% you know, payload. Um, yeah, and 90% of it is everything else. And I would guess the rocket to like 10% of the weight of the rocket or something. So, you know, the overwhelming majority of the rocket is fuel tanks. And when this thing comes into land, um, you've got a big problem, right? Fuel um, is, when it's like this, the fuel is all on one side. And then as you rock the rocket around like this, you've got liquid sloshing around in these tanks. And that's, yeah, I I don't know. I've not looked into it or yeah, how they, they tackle this problem. But, you know, that with the early rockets, this was a big problem. When yeah, even just with the direct ascent stuff, the fuel sloshing around, you know, you've got tons of liquid there. Um, it moves around. It affects stuff. So if I had to guess, that's what causes this. Um, there are several bizarre things that happen. In fact, let's, let's watch it in real time a few times. The first thing that's a notable... Okay, that's the gimbals trying to sort everything out. A little flame out. A green flame. That's bad news, bears. Green flame means that you've got something else. Nice clean burn like this. This is... Uh, whatever it, it's it's methane burning with liquid oxygen nice clean flame and you sort of see the resonances in the flame uh, the, this switching backwards and forwards that's the gimbling of the engines that all looks fine this is probably where it all goes wrong there now the, the these are throttleable engines i would guess um, but the real problem is that it looks like it, it um they lose the fuel supply to the engines at this point um, and it's followed immediately by a green flame and a, a plume of, of dark gas. Again, this is all very bad news. So the green flame, I would normally associate, it's irons in the flame. And if I had to guess, it's copper. There can't be many places uh, that you're going to be able to get copper into the combustion chamber i've got no idea how that happens but yeah don't ever get flames going green i've never seen this before in my life so if i had to guess there's i don't even know what would do that but the other thing that's immediately weird is you go from a nice clear flame nice clear flame nice clear flame um to this is followed exactly with um, soot in the exhaust. Um, yeah, it looks like they're they're burning something, burning something that's got copper in. You know, the nearest thing I can guess is they've got partial disintegration of the tanks or something, and so you've got bit of I know disrupted fuel tank going through the fuel pumps, um, which um, 
and I'm, I'd be surprised that the fuel pumps wouldn't sort of disintegrate at that point. But uh, yeah, the engines keep running, but it's clear that something else is going into the engines. Um, and at that, yeah, the, the it hits the ground at a unhealthy speed, and hit, hitting the ground at the unhealthy speed is it's off axis as well. But yeah, minor issue. Um, and then, of course, on hitting the ground, um, like I was saying, these are basically two giant tanks, one of liquid oxygen, one of methane. Obviously, when it lands, there's enough force in the methane, uh, you know, just the weight of the methane, that it just ruptures the tank and it all catches fire. Now, it does no structural damage to the rocket, of course, because... All that you're really doing is the liquid. You've 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 got a a glass cup full of methane here, hits the ground, cup shatters, methane pours out, big fireball, looks very impressive, and then at some point, you know, the gas, the yeah, res residual gas that fills up the rocket catches fire, and yeah, the overpressure doesn't do it any good, any much in the way of overpressure. There's you you could probably get a reasonable estimate of. How much gas you're actually burning here from the size of the fireball? Um, ah, ah, that's a shame. We lose the video footage on these cameras. In fact, when do we lose the footage on the cameras? Oh, really? So if these things are genuinely synced up, and they look to be, right? So let's see if they sync up with the first bit of the green flame. Oh, it's the engine bell burns out. The engine bell burns out, I think. Is that what it is? Could that be right? I don't believe the engine bells have cobbled. I don't know they might do. Yeah, it could be. Okay, so we see our two engine bells here, nice and clear. This is our two engine bells. It's the engine bell fails. That's, yeah, okay, this is nice. You can see the gimbling of the two rocket motors here. So, gimbal... Bit of a flame out on one, and it looks, yeah, I, I think it's the, the engine bells destroyed. Oh, no, it must be the, no, oh, they're still, still burning. What about the near one? We can't really see this engine. Did we lose one of the engines? You see, the thing is, if you stop pumping fuel into the engines, um, uh, well, they go out. But, I mean, if the fuel pump disintegrates, then there's no, no, no pressure pushing the liquid into the engine bell. So um, you, you wouldn't have a flame still, but you clearly do have a flame. Okay. I think they get, oh, hang on, oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is, watch here, watch here. This is the important bit. Um, oh, you get more of it earlier. The disintegration starts well before any of this. It's, when do you get the first bit of green in the flame? So, okay, your angle's all the way over. And it's just as he comes back. Um, so it's difficult to know which... I think these are your two engines here, left and right. Like I was saying, I'm doing this completely on the fly. Yeah, it is. These are your two gimbaled engines. One is here, one is here. And it's, yeah, by this count... Yeah, it's only one of the engines that gets the green flame in it. Right? You see the green flame here, not in this one. But there's still fuel going to both of them. That's a really weird failure. Oh, the engine's out, and he's back. I think you lose this engine. I think this engine... You need to know the plumbing of the engines at this point. So you got your two engines left and right, and it looks like you get green in one of the engines, but it looks like it's clearly coming from the engine bell. 
it looks uh, something weird happens there as well yeah look at this this is this is not right didn't see anything like that before did we so these are nice nice clear burns oh no 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 this is, it's a resonance okay so this is a resonance in the burn is there anything that we get earlier than this no no nice clean burn nice clean burn those are the two engines gimbling together and there's something weird here here it looks like we got to the the engines are gimbling separately but we can't oh no there it is there's a they're slightly out of sequence Right. I'm gonna guess that they've but they they've burned through an engine bell. They're, they're, it can't be um, the fuel pumps because if the fuel pumps die, uh, yeah, that's all basically a rocket engine is is a giant fuel pump that takes the fuel from the rocket and pushes it at very high pressure into the engine bell. So you lose the fuel pump, you don't pump any more liquid in here, so you don't get any more flame out. Um, so I've had a guess. Hang on, let me just check, get the sequencing right here. Okay, we get the first green is there. Then there's a flame out. If I had to guess what the, yeah, the flame out is basically they've got fuel slosh. And if the fuel goes over sufficiently far, it's not reaching, if it doesn't make the inlets to the fuel pumps, then uh, you, th this is one of the things that will destroy engines, is if you don't get a nice continuous flow of fuel to the engines, just the shock of stopping and starting the fuel um, will kill it. Um, you know, they, they basically blow up the fuel pumps. Um, but it's clearly before then. Uh, it looks to me like it's an engine bell failure. There's a little green flash before this. The thing is, where the hell is copper? I'm going to just, I'm going to cheat. Uh, what are the engine bells made of on the Raptor? Engine bell Raptor. Right, you see the engine bells run very close to the melting point of the metal. Um, so the, the way they're kept solid is you typically pump the cryogenic fuel through the engine bells, and that keeps them from melting. Um, right, I'm going to see where there is copper in the engine. And there isn't any. Okay, I wonder if it's going to tell me what the engine bell's made of. No. Okay, engine bell raptor. Okay, I'm not going to be able to find out on the fly. But that would be my my guess. Um, you, the fact that you've 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 got a continuous flow of fuel to the engines means you've not destroyed the fuel pumps. Um, it looks like there are problems. Even before, yeah, you know, the fact that you get the green flame, yeah, you know, my first reading was disrupt disruption to the fuel pump, um, basically um, disrupts the fuel pump to the engines and that causes damage and that's what causes it to go boom. It's not true. Um, there is this starts earlier. Um, this starts way up here. Yeah, that's when you get the first green put. The weird thing is you don't seem to pick it up on this one. What do you? Not really. But it's just a little little twitch of green. Um I didn't think right, the the problem with copper is it's quite soft. It might be an alloy that contains copper. That's entirely possible. You you almost would never use copper on this sort of thing because it's too soft uh you know great great for certain things but um yeah maybe it may be an alloy that contains copper 
Um, okay, so that's my analysis of why the SpaceX goes boom. Uh, incidentally, um, is there other angles? Oh, that's what's left afterwards, which is not a lot. Okay, uh, nice, clean. Um, yeah, but yeah, in many, in many ways, it's you know, it's just a, a one of these guys, a Douglas D, uh, DCX with larger fuel tanks. Which yeah, this this is, um, wasn't done quite so much. This this was all cancelled, by the way. People. Uh, didn't think it was worth pursuing that much. Anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, that's, that's the hot take on why that guy blew up. So I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.